So it's uh, September already? Wow, it's been nine months now since the first COVID case was identified. Well, it's high time we start encouraging each other to cope with the new normal and to bring that smile back into our face again. Hello and welcome to Global Healthcare Archives by Medvasi. Let's have a quick look at the top healthcare stories of the week. Now, one and a half million children in the U.S. public schools can access quality healthcare comfortably at home. California-based Hazel Health, through its telehealth services, enables K-12 students to access basic healthcare and nutrition remotely. Founded by the serial entrepreneur Nick Woods, Hazel Health has recently raised $33.5 million to expand their footprint across the U.S. Schools have started reopening with distant learning due to COVID-19, and this has eventually impacted every student's mental health condition because they're spending very little time with friends and are therefore less exposed to outdoor sports activities. Now, members of school communities can play a very active role in identifying students who are suffering from these mental health complications and help them overcome the illness by conducting various physical activities. Innovative healthcare solution provider, Capsa Healthcare, has launched the most advanced workstation to mobilize e-health records and facilitate accurate medication management. The new Trio mobile computing workstation is compatible with various applications such as telehealth, registration, and phlebotomy. So 70% of adult COVID survivors are experiencing long-term side effects that impact their heart, lungs, central nervous system, and other areas of the body. Even children have experienced these side effects, including problems like headaches and fatigue. In response to this healthcare crisis, Norton Healthcare has announced the launch of COVID-19 long-term care clinics for adults and pediatric patients. The clinic will have a team of multidisciplinary adult pediatric specialists who will evaluate patients' ongoing symptoms and develop very specific treatment plans according to their problems. Well, we all know now that the healthcare industry has been increasingly deploying 3D printing in various segments. The global 3D printing for healthcare market is expected to grow at a CAGR of 23% between 2019 and 2030. Factors like improved precision, reduced error, efficient use of diverse materials that ensure minimal wastage is expected to fuel the growth of 3D printing. Due to the lack of state-of-the-art hospitals and the unavailability of skilled doctors, people in rural India are still struggling to get access to quality healthcare. However, three 12th grade students from APJ School in Delhi developed an app called Health Hub. This AI-based health kit is designed to offer basic healthcare to people in rural areas without the presence of doctors and to provide centralized access to all components of healthcare at nearly 5% of the hospital's expenditure. Leveraging AI-based technology like IBM Watson's visual recognition, this app will reduce human intervention and minimize the healthcare costs of patients in rural areas. Well, in order to take pediatric innovation to the next level, an accelerator program was recently launched in the name of KidsX. This program has partnered with 26 innovative children's hospitals from the US, UK, Australia, and it will bring together early stage digital health companies to build, test, and deploy software solutions to make pediatric care effective, safe, efficient, and convenient for children and their families. Well, that's all for this week. Till next week, stay safe and keep your families safe. Thank you.